Yes, you are seeing this right. I have landed six of the brand new Lego Marvel Series 2 collectible minifigures. I just found them about an hour or so ago at Kohl's, my local Kohl's. These aren't supposed to be releasing till September 1st. They're $4.99 a piece, so I am super stoked to find these about a week early. I don't have a scale with me that's going to get me down to the super micro weight, so I'm not even going to try to attempt to see what's in these prior to opening the boxes. I'm simply just going to open these boxes blind and hope that I get six individual figures. So I'm gonna take these five, I'm gonna shift them over here to the side, and we're gonna start with box number one. I haven't opened any of these. I wanna see if there's any specific way you should be opening them. Doesn't look like it. There's a little bit of a break right there. You can just tear it off. I'm just gonna pop this open. All right, so what did I get in box number one? I had to grab my phone real quick to see what all these minifigures actually are. I still wish they actually printed the names on the sheet. That would be nice. Some of the names I know, but some of them I don't. All right, so looking at the names, it looks like the first minifigure I got is Echo. Moving on, box number two. Yes, okay, Wolverine. This is one of my top characters that I wanted to get in this series. Wolverine was probably a close second for me to Moon Knight. Moon Knight is definitely the one I'm most excited about in this series. But we got Wolverine, he's got two different headpieces. He's got his actual mask and then his actual hair. He does have the famous Wolverine claws, which is nice to see. And then I don't know what this little purple pieces here. If you know what that is, drop a comment below. It looks like some type of transformer head, but I'm not a Marvel expert, so if you know what that is. Box number three. No! First duplicate. I was happy to see Wolverine the first time, I'm not happy to see Wolverine the second time. But that is one duplicate already out of the six. Box number four, hopefully no more duplicates. Trying to get five individual right ones right now if I can. All right, fantastic. No duplicate there. This one is gonna be Agatha. So she's got kind of the dress legs, the big hair piece. You've got the book. I'm not really sure what this book is. I'm not overly familiar with some of these characters. Number five, last two. No more duplicates, let's go. You're kidding me. Another Agatha, not what I wanted to see, not a good start. Again, if we could feel the bags, it would eliminate all this. Come on, Lego. That's already 10 bucks spent on duplicates. Last box, come on, give me at least four characters that are not the same. Oh man, wow. Okay, three duplicates. So I got um, Echo again. So if we learn anything from this, what I did is I per picked the first six that were at the front of this box, I think of 36, and I picked the first six that were right there. So obviously they were three and three of the exact same. So what I should have done is probably stayed on one side or the other of the box and kept going back, I believe. So there's probably a video out there that tells you what the different assortment of characters is in the box, but unfortunately I didn't think to look at that. So I ended up with three duplicates and three new ones to add to the collection. So I am still nine short. I am gonna be buying two of the six boxes when they come out on September 1st. So I'm gonna hopefully complete the collection with those 12. We will find out, but stay tuned for that video. Either way, check your local Kohl's, check your local Target. I've heard they've been spotted at both of those stores. Obviously, I found mine at Kohl's. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think of this new LEGO Marvel Series 2 set, and I will see you in the next video.